Yeah. MMA Viking. <laughs> MMA Viking here with Reza Madadi, the, the movie star. Uh, <laughs> first, Reza, we want to talk to you uh, when your movie Chaos to Come Back came out in Sweden. It was a big hit. I know Afton Blotted, it was the largest uh, scene in distributed sports documentary. What was the reaction with the initial release here in Sweden? When the, the, the documentary came out, it was uh, yeah, amazing. But also glad to see it. Uh, then uh, the guys who made the documentary, they called me and said, yeah, now is uh, in the cinema. They're going to show it the day before my fight. Was. And actually, I didn't understand how big it was. And for me, it was, ah, OK, whatever. Then uh, they invited me to a couple of uh, events. For uh, It was a lot of Swedish stars and uh, all, all the movie gonna come at the cinema in the same time. So then I understand, start to re realize, wow, uh, it's a big hit. And uh, yeah, they, f they explained it for me is, I mean, of 100, 200 movies, they just pick up uh, 20. And my film was one of them. So I feel blessed. Talk about the movie. I think many of us uh, that follow MMA or, or the UFC or hear you name hear your name, we think of more the Mad Dog character. But this was really more of a Reza Madadi movie. It showed you with your young son and your wife and just being a normal, just a normal person. Uh, talk about why that was so much in the movie, or is that something you actually wanted to get get more across people to know you? First of all, if people think I'm go wrong. 24 hours, I'm like, ah, wow, I'm mad. <laughs> they, uh, then they are crazy. I mean, UFC, of course, is fighting, and one part of our fighting, our game is show business. Trash dog, to make the, to be the mad dog, to be the different character. And, uh, of course I do, I get mad dog when I'm in the, inside the cage. Also, I don't have any reason to be the man. I'm usually a guy like everybody else. And it was a lot of bullshit. It was a lot of, I mean, uh, bad stuff on me on uh, different website. So I decide now it's time to show the, show the people the, those. You know, some people, they have a, they have an opinion on you, opinion, and you never can change it. They think like this about you, and then it's like this. But some people you can change when you, they see how you are like an athlete, like a usually guy, like a UFC fighter, like a father. And for me, it was important to show that. Hello, listen, I'm here, and this is my life. So, yeah. And I think going into this, you said one of your hopes was that you would be seen more of an inspiration for someone that can come back from adversity and someone, instead of someone that's sent away to prison and you never see their, their, their face again. Do you think the movie's done that or your story's done that? I hope so. I really hope because my history, my journey is not, is not about just get to prison and come back. Is about everybody else. If you have a company, you lost your company, then don't never give up. Build it up from the beginning and work up, come back, or you study, whatever. You know, a lot life is about everybody gonna fall down, this way or other way. But the most important to come back. Don't stay there and but okay now is everything is over. Maybe you lost your wife, but try to come back. So I hope, really hope, my history give uh, inspiration to especially young people to always have a hope. Hope is the most important we have in life. So, yeah. And uh, for the you know hundreds of thousands of people that have already seen the initial release. Um, 
it ended uh, with your fight against Norman Park. But yeah. for those that have followed up with your story, you had a, a huge uh, win in Rotterdam. Uh, is the movie going to be adapted to include some of that, or is it going to have the same ending? No, it don't have the same ending. It's going to be included with uh, they got the, those guys. They put, I think. No, I don't want to say something's wrong, but I think they put run. 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah, more is uh, included. Rotterdam fight and some more interview, and is uh, not the same documentary they see at the Afton Bladet. Yeah. Great. Is there anything else you want to say to anyone that's considering uh, seeing your movie, which comes out October 7th in all the major cities in Sweden? Yeah, it's gonna go in the four big cities: uh, Stockholm, Gothenburg. Ups Malmo, uh, Uppsala. Uppsala, Umeå. Yeah, it was fun. Umeå, yeah, oh so wow, Umeå on the map. Yeah, <laughs> so we put the Umeå on the map, yeah. <laughs> then, uh, day after I have fight, upcoming fight. So, it's a big weekend for me. Great, well thanks Reza, we always uh, appreciate learning more about your story and seeing your growth and uh, seeing where this comeback ends. Thank you brother. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Reza.